Welcome back to Confuse Genius. It's been a while since we were able to visit our friends here. When last we left, we had cleaned up some of this uh, food stockpile area. We're just about ready to put in some garden plots, although not too critical. Actually, a little more critical than I thought. I guess food were getting a little lower than I thought, 36 and 33. We do have some birds, though, so we got to get some nest boxes down uh, before they eat us out of house and home. We can also send someone up to gather some additional plants we could eat as well, which is perfectly fine to do. Let's jump down to what we looked at here. We had dug out our main level here. We got our tavern dug out. We've got the temple complex dug out. Haven't labeled any of that as temples yet, but we can do that here soon. And then we've got our production area all laid out. Uh, one of my viewers pointed out that I'm off by one block here. Now it'll drive me nuts forever, but I'm not going to redig it all. So that it is what it is. We did start building some quantum stockpiles here uh, for stone and for wood. Uh, you can see the lot of wood there, a lot of stone coming in here. So we're ready to start making some things. I think I asked them to start working on some tables. Yep, so you can see that. We're good to go there. So let's get some of this underway here. Let's check to make sure we got some uh, nest boxes. Oops. Oh, and I get some hotkeys going, too, which will speed things up here. Let's add a task right here. I want to go rock nest boxes. And let's just... We don't need ten of those. Let's just throw four down. Get that done fast. Let's jump that up. Make that top priority for them to work on. All right. And let's get some of these garden plots going here. Let's pause it for a minute. So remember when you build garden plots, they're nowadays considered a workshop under farming. Now this area I had made above ground. So if you see right here, this is now an above ground plot. So we keep doing that. Let's set this to keep building afterwards. And we can just draw these. I like to make smaller garden plots because it gives you more control later on. While initial setup's kind of a pain, we can do this. So if a farmer come over, build that. We can also look to see if we have any animals we don't need anymore that we can slaughter. Some of the ones up top are nice because they're going to uh, keep an eye out for baddies. Or the pigs we want to breed. The hen will give us eggs, goose will give us eggs, guinea hen will give us eggs, pea hen. We'll get lots of eggs from these things, so. So why don't we just leave it as is? We'll get a couple nest boxes out, get some eggs going, and we'll cook those up. And I think we'll be just fine. We've got plenty of drink now. All right, that's made up. So, what do we want for seed-wise, though? I don't see any seeds, so we're going to have to go gather some plants, brew some, brew some drinks. And then plant some stuff. So let's jump up top and look around. I thought I saw some down at the very bottom here. Fisherberries. Probably down by the water here. Let's take a look, see if we can find any fisherberries. We can brew several of these items. And we will need some rope breed. So we can actually ask them to grab some of that now that we're ready for it. Some rope read there. I know I saw some fisher berries here. There's anything there to grab there. Good. Look a little sad than I want. There's some fisher berries. That'll be a good crop to start. While we're at it, grab some melon. Don't want that. I don't have a milling set up in place yet. We'll want to do something for that. We can live off the land a little bit here. Let's leave that as is. Let's jump in. They should still be cleaning up. Lots of rock to clean up. We're at midsummer. Come late summer, I gotta throw down a trade depot here. So we're ready for that. Cleanup continues. And we gotta start digging out our way to the magma. So let's pause. There's just a couple items I want to set up here. 
I'll tell you what I'm going to do, and then we'll do a time jump. We need some sleeping areas. So I plan on making a dormitory right here, along with some long-term residence sleeping spots. We'll just dig it out for now. We'll put in the beds later. Parallel to that over here, we'll build the hospital. So it'll have a nice symmetric look to it. I want to build over here what I call a small council chamber. And that's where I like to put tables and chairs for the various nobles who need an office. And we'll talk about how to build up the value of each of those offices so that, in my mind, it looks like one room that all the nobles can sit in, but each of them thinks that he's in a much higher quality office. So I'm going to map those out. And jumping up two levels, I plan on build, starting to make some of just the general bedrooms here. My goal is to make everyone a 3x3, three three, which is plenty of space for you to give every dwarf their bed, their chest, their cabinet. You can give an armor stand and a weapon rack. So everybody's happy. Everyone's very happy with what they have there. They think they have their own little palatial palace they go to sleep in. You can get by with a lot less, but we're not going to do that. And then what I plan on doing is, from this level here, go up one... So up to three bedrooms. Between bedrooms and here, we're going to start pulling in some water. And it's going to make a nice waterfall right through here, right through here, and we'll make a reservoir down here. So I'm going to pause this for a second and map this all out, and then we'll come back. All right, so we've mapped out some items here. Here's where we'll put a quick dormitory, along with some small rooms for our long-term residents as we get the tavern set up. We'll have the small council chamber chamber here. We'll start digging out a hospital here. And jumping up to, I've started laying out the basics of my uh, planned uh, living quarters. As you'll remember, we discussed, I expect everything in this direction, over to the right, should be all stone. So we can build down, we can build up, and we can build to the right. If I go further too far this side, I'll eventually hit dirt, and nobody wants a sand bedroom. So we'll try to avoid that. Looks like my food numbers have jumped up from some of that gathering that I did. So we can jump up here. And let's just take a look real quick at what our stocks are again. Now that we've kind of grabbed some food. Got those fisher berries. I have those set to not cook. So I'll brew those up to get some seeds. So I'll, if I do a couple brewing jobs, I should get some uh, seeds for those. The seeds for the whip vines. We'll get that going. And then we will cook up some of these items. If I can get a... If they finished off the nest boxes, we can build those. Don't know if they would have gotten those done in time. Let's see if we've got any here. Let's put them right here. Ah, oh, we do. Excellent. We get those down. Don't care what kind for now. can probably kill this meeting area for now. Well, no. What we'll do is, yes, we'll kill this meeting area, move this zone, and we'll just make a pasture right up here. Except, and we're going to put all of our poultry in that. So they can just hang out there and lay eggs. We'll grab those eggs. Are they going to go back to the wagon? Is that only where to hang out? Probably. So we got to jump down here. And we're now ready to say that this is our new meeting area. But more importantly, it's actually a dining hall. Oh, no, I want to make it bigger. So we got a dining hall. I'm going to grab the doors and the walls. All the way to here. Except, at a location, we're going to make it a tavern. And we should be able to build several of those tables that we put together. Let's cancel that and cancel that, because I want to put statues in there. 
that in place. And then let's get the chairs that go with them. Start hauling that up. We're digging this out. We're moving the rock out of the way. Everyone's staying busy. People are generally happy. We don't have doors being made. We'll have to set that up here soon, too. Now that looks pretty. And now we should be getting some... What do we got here? Oh, we already had a bard visiting. Look at that. That's good news. Getting some eggs. There goes a turkey. Right now, hopefully to lay some eggs. Yep. Grab those eggs. We'll cook them up. And that fixes some of our food problems right away. That in place. So, we got to review our production plans here. We have bins and blocks. They're making the, the initial sets of tables and thrones, and that's all well and good. We've got mechanisms on hand. We've got cages. What we need are doors. We know we're going to need a lot of them. So let's take a look at what stone we have on hand. And this site is pretty. Now let's go with this. You don't need to make make four at a time. And I just want to keep... If we get less than four, make four. That'll work. We got the small council. Got this here. Oh, we need beds. Definitely going to need lots of beds. Make beds. Make four. And always keep some on hand. Okay. Visiting human bard. He felt enjoyment performing to this empty room of rocks. Good for you. I'm happy for you. Now that we've gathered some of those eggs... At least we should have gathered some of those eggs. Yes, excellent. Let's tell them to prepare a few lavish meals. And let's jump up there too. Or the still. Brew those up. In a masterpiece throne. That's what you want to see. That's why I like to bring some uh, trained folks to make furniture right away, because I'll put that out here. Somebody's going to sit in it real soon and go, wow, that is a beautiful chair. And they'll get a happy thought right away. So let's get some more of these... Chairs out. And we can even start putting a stockpile here. I want to make this a prepared meals. And this is tavern food. And I want you to take from jump up to the top here that's food that's food those are just drink that's all the food okay Let's jump back down and make another these. Put 
have her drink and grab that from the drink pile. Done. Let's make sure I did that right. Time they should move that up. So we are doing better with food. Much better with food. Do we have any seeds yet? We do. This is now the whip vine. Not wipe. Whip. All right. Plant there. And it looks like we're doing a pretty good job digging this out too. Plenty of microcline. It's late summer. So we need to jump over here and we need to make ourselves a trade depot. Goes right here. And I want to throw a couple doors on, now that we should have some doors made. Taking some time. I always want to go faster than my dwarves can go at first. Once that's in place, I'll feel better. And once these are doors are in place, I'll feel better because we can lock down for most threats. So let's jump over to check on our kitchen again. So we use most of the eggs. We have some pig's milk. I should set up an order to make some cheese. And some other cookables. I'm going to say don't brew any more of that. I'm going to ask them to brew a few more. Get some seed going here. Let's see if somebody can come over. Good. Got a barrel too. Excellent. Once we have that, it should give me a seed to start my fisher berries. All right, put that right there. And let's just go ahead and check all seasons for that. I'll do the same thing up here. So as we have seed, we're good to go. And we can go back over to the kitchen. Good with you brewing either of those. We'll slowly create that. All right. Excellent. We're not going to starve yet. Which is always a win. Trade depots made. We should have beds being made. Let's throw a couple down right now. All right. That's two seasons. So five and a half months. Here's how far we gotten probably get another migrant wave here soon with the turn of the season. See, migrants are having a good time in the tavern. Lazy bums that they are. Lazy bums that they are. All right, beds. Furniture. Just have the one. Who are you? Oh, you got a weaponsmith. You got another. He's pretty happy. Pretty happy. So I think what we could do now is we need to get our other workshops in place, even if we're not fully utilizing them yet. These are going to be the magma forges. We can start digging those down now just to have them in place. So let's go to channel. Dig, dig, dig. Dig, dig, dig. 
old habit of mine, but I always put the magma where the the graphic of the furnace is. It's entirely unnecessary, but I do it anyway. Whoa. That was not the plan. <laughs> that that was not the plan at all. Okay. This changes everything. Because I cannot put those magma forges where I was going to put those magma forges. All right. Well, now I got to rethink the whole design. But we've got a cavern. Let's see what we got. How far down does it go? There's water. Some soil. Is it big? Does it go to the end? It goes to the end there. Let's zoom out a bit. Let's zoom out a bit. So we start here and drop down. Oh, brother. And that, best laid plans, right? Best laid plans. An elevation negative six. Did not expect that, although, I mean, when you think about it, because we are down negative six, you got to go all the way up to... 19, so I did go down, you know, almost 30 layers before you really get to that cavern floor. <laughs> what do we got here? Okay. Don't see anything too creepy crawly. Let's cancel some of these for now, because I don't want to just dig random holes into the caverns. And we are going to... fill these in for now until I can come up with a good plan for that. Well, that really throws things off quite a bit, doesn't it? Let's throw a block in that one. A block in that one. Well, viewer, I'm not exactly sure what my plan is now, because I had a whole plan for getting the magma over here, and... But clearly it would just dump in there, so I'm going to have to work my way around. Now, I can go... back a ways. Maybe I'll do that. So I think I'm going to have to run these further back, closer to over in this zone here. All right, que sera. Let's get a couple workshops in place over here, and then I will plan out something a little more, uh, more like what I wanted. Throw a couple other shops here. Looms. And then let's throw a couple boats. Those in place, and we need to make our massive quantum stockpile here. Make sure I can see. Let's go from here. Here, except custom. I want all, and then I'll turn stuff off. I have no want for animals in this one yet. I do not want stone. I do not want food. I do not want wood. I'm okay with armor. I don't want bars and blocks. Actually, no, I could do that. I could do... Say none, and then I will take blocks. Ah. I'm fine with cloth. Cloth I don't want. Coins I'll take. Finished goods I'll take. Furniture, good. Gems are fine. Leather, no. Corpses, absolutely not. Refuse, definitely not. 
Never set that oil pile, because if it marks it as refuse, it will rapidly deteriorate everything in your stockpile. So ignore what the tutorial tells you about that, please. All right, we figured that out, and then that. Okay, let's do that. And then we can get a quantum stockpile going here with a construction track stop this way. There. And then I want the same thing. Except custom. We can just say all except for none. 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 If other stuff shows up, then so be it. It's fine. Name this quantum. And then it does not take from anywhere because it's going to be hooked up to this guy. We can set up a calling right now. Add new. Rename the big quantum. Stop right here. What does it take? And here's where it can take anything. And I do mean anything that shows up in this other stockpile. No, hey, hang on. Let's not let's not let's not go crazy. Because stuff some stuff might just fall in there accidentally. And if it does fall in there, I don't want to be tossing it in. Okay. It's gonna take from Here. Done. When does it leave? It never leaves. Done. And it needs a minecart. I haven't used that one yet. So someone should bring over a cart, put it here, and then everything that's in here is going to toss into my one quantum stockpile. Oh, and... Okay, mistake I made. This we have no bins. No bins. This we want no bins in. First I'll load it up and then they should grab stuff and toss it in here. There it goes. There it goes. All right, and the trade caravan is here. Question is, what are we going to trade with them? Let's set up something real quick. Oops. I want a jeweler. The jeweler right here. Do we have anyone who knows how to cut jewelry? Let's check that under labor. Does anyone have any skill? No, no one has any skill. All right, who do we have that wants to learn? This peasant wants to learn. Congratulations, you're now a jeweler. And let's just make sure he's the only one who's going to do it. Only does it... Yep. As soon as he gets his butts over here, he can start carving a couple gems that we can then sell. Nice. Diplomacy. All right, much to share. Ah, they didn't make me a baron. I guess I didn't build enough. That's fine. What do we want? I want all the leather you've got. But I want the cheap stuff. Give me all the dog, cat, mule, donkey, horse leather you can give me. It does the same thing at a quarter of the price. So I'll take it for now. So I've got that. I don't really need any more wood. Uh, cloth? No, but 
bring me some silk that I can make some things out of. Seeds, don't need any of that. In fact, now that we've hit the caverns, we're going to start to getting some growth up in the areas we've carved out. And we can make an underground area that just naturally grows a lot of these things to gather our own seeds. Uh, pets, I don't think we need any of those for now. We don't need any drinks, we don't need cheeses. Extracts, stone. Where did I miss stone? I want, if you can bring me gold nuggets, I'll take some of those. I'll always take the two, some coal. I'll even take some platinum if you've got it. And finally, let's see, under miscellaneous, I'll always take some lye. Under sand. Sounds crazy, but I'll take these because it gets me bet more bags. And if I'm going to run a glass industry with all the magma that I have, sand, having bags is handy so that you can buy the bag with the sand in it for dirt cheap, empty it, then you can refill it. You don't waste time making bags. I think that's all I need. I don't need anything crazy. We're good to, we're good to go here. So done. Got it. Okay. Where are my traders at? Have they, have they shown up yet? The merchants. Let's jump to them. Here they come. Okay. They're just walking. They don't have a cart yet. Let's throw this bed down. Cut some gems. We've got some lying around. And our peasant will quickly become a jeweler. He seems generally happy. He's been unable to pray. We can fix that pretty quick here. We had planned on making a zone right here of a temple. So I believe that's a meeting area. And we're going to start with just this end part here. Accept, add, new temple, no specific. So this is our general temple on the end here. Give them a place to pray when they want. These folks are hanging out. Traders are waiting for some goods. We are working on those now. We have a gem bin. Oh, those are from the uh, the rough gems, I think. Yeah, we must have missed that. They load those in before we got there. Okay, that's fine. He'll cut those, and we'll get some cut gems here soon. Coming to pick those up. That'll be fine. Cut gems. Ah, a couple grand. First traders don't have too much these days anyway when they first come. Assuming Donna can wake up and get her butt down here. Drinking. And now she's here to trade. He's on her way. All right. There we go. Trade. We actually have a good 
good amount here. Three grand that we can buy some stuff with. Do they have anything worth buying? Therein lies the question. Well, we'll buy a couple barrels of milk, because we can make cheese real quick out of that. Might as well buy a barrel of beer. Got some tools here. A mace. Kind of a lot of junk here. I'll take all your cheap stuff. Comes in handy. Some bags. Bags are good. Ah, we can use some cloth. First, do you have any leather? Cloth I can make with what I can find. Leather's harder to come by. You don't. Cloth is expensive. What else you got? Buy another anvil? Or else we just buy a ton of food. Might just buy a ton of food. Cheese is good. We can make cheese. For now, we're still a little broke, so let's just buy the meat. Let's do this. Something else for this, just so you're not feeling like we're getting totally ripped off. Throw in the... Bird. Trade. Wonderful. That was half our stuff. And now what can we buy with the other stuff? Let's buy some of this. Buy all the fish. It's already been processed, so we should be good there. I'm not going to buy any of their cloth. I think that's all I need if I'm looking at this here. The bars, nothing crazy there. Do they have any crutches? Sometimes that's worth buying. No, a piece of parchment. I'll buy a thousand dwarf bucks for a splint. They don't have any instruments. Alright, well, take this gem. They're ripping me off, and I'm aware of it. Give me... Gosh, I don't even know what else we could possibly use here. I'll take a couple quivers. I don't want backpacks because backpacks are broken right now. I'll take this thread. Let's trade. Really, you won't... Wow, you are... Greedy. Keeping my gem. There. All right. That's it. All right, but we traded some gems, so people know we're here now, that we're we're finding some wealth in the mountain, and they'll be happy to come visit us now. We got this dug out. Got this dug out. We ruined all of my plans for magma forges. Kind of bummed by, but that's okay. We'll just move them back here. I'll have to go to the top of the volcano over here for all of it. You try to build a beautiful fort, and then there's a cavern. Okay, it's fine, though. It's all good. So, I think that's where we might take a break here. When we come back next time, we'll cook up all the food. We'll fix up our farms. We will dig a new area for our magma forges, and get those fired up. I will have to start covering this floor, although we get some some free food if, you, if we watch for it carefully. So, we'll pause it there. And until next time, friends, thank you for joining me.